Welcome to the first video in this AnnotSV tutorial series. We will start today with the download and quick installation of AnnotSV. You can easily Google the AnnotSV website, just type AnnotSV and submit it. So the first link is a good one. And so you have access to the AnnotSV website with a lot of tabs at the top, including the download tab. And as you can see, the source code is freely available under the new GPL license. And the code is downloadable on GitHub here. You can click or here. Well, if you look at the readme, you have all instructions details there. Uh, so, OK, let's deal with this uh, installation together. Um, as you can see, the sources can be cloned to any directory. So I'm going to create a temporary directory for the demo to show you uh, how to install a notice on your server. OK, and now I can move to this directory. Great. Then I can download the sources thanks to the git command, so I can copy-paste this command line. OK, perfect. Then uh, you can easily install the package using make. So you go inside the AnnotSV directory, and after you run the following commands. OK, so I can paste my command. Done. Good. As you can see, there is a warning because human annotations need to be installed. So you can copy paste this command and run it. So the good news is that annotations are automatically downloaded during the installation with the make file. But uh, depending on your connection, um, downloading the two gigabyte of human annotations may take a few minutes or more. So be patient. Great. So. Uh, Everything is done in something like seven minutes. Then you need to set the global environmental variable as the location of the Git repo on your system. So personally, I'm in CSH. OK, without the last slash. Now everything is done with the installation and we can run the test. So I need to move to the example directory and to run the test. Okay, so we can have a look at the different files. So you have a, an example of the command just here that you can copy paste. And so I notice this running. Great, everything is working very well. So I notice we produced these uh, tab separated file uh, that uh, you can integrate directly in your personal bioinformatics pipeline. Or you can visualize and interpret directly the data in an HTML file produced by not an OTSV, but this will be the subject of a future video. Bye bye!